Didn't we raise you better than this? Huh? Yo, Maz, that woman is Yigit's girl. You already know that, so just let her go. Look, why are you giving her bodyguards and taking her out for dinners? Dad, but Sybil said there's nothing between them. Uh, 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 so you're in charge of their relationship now? Yigit said there is. If they break up or get together, it's none of your business, son. Father, I'm just watching over her because she's working on the advertisement. I'll burn down that whole damn company. Advertisement, that's over. Do you understand me? You're not assigned to that anymore. But, Dad... You can run the business over at Alma Ada. All this because I was protecting a woman without a boyfriend? If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Women problems must never interrupt a business. Huh? You are chasing after the lover of one of my best men. Father, I'm your son, not your employee. Yeah. If someone else had done what you did, he wouldn't go to Alma Ada. He would go down the sewer. Now go and get your stuff packed up. If you return to Turkey in less than six months, things will change. Look, brother. I know that you must feel on edge. The police station, the long trip. You were on the road for 20 hours. You must still be in shock. Go get some rest. And we'll talk about this later. Every single time that you step out that front door, Cobra, Yigit and I grow more and more apart from each other. What do I do then? You want me to stay locked in here like a suicide bomber? No, of course I don't. You'll continue to live in this house like normal. It's your home too, after all, Cobra. Look, even if he ends up ruling the planet, he can't say anything within these four walls. Do you understand that? 